What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Pink Ranger. And so here we have the Pink Ranger posing in out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure let's actually take a look at what Pink Ranger comes with. She does come with two alternate head sculpts. She does come with a helmeted head that she has on her right now. And then we do get an unmasked Amy Jo Johnson head which looks decent. It's a Pretty okay likeness. We also do get four hands with her. Two right hands. We get one for holding the bow and the blade blaster. Then we also do get a flat palm for her right hand. For her left hand we do get a fist hand which looks really good. And then a grip hand for holding the arrow eff and arrow effect. We also do get the power bow which is nicely detailed and has clips for all the other weapons. We also do get an arrow that goes with the power bow as well as a special arrow that goes with it and it looks like it's blasting. We also do get a blade blaster in its extended form which looks really good and it does fit in her holster. I think the only thing Pink Ranger was really missing is a folded up blade blaster. We get the blade blaster in its gun form but it just doesn't look right in the holster which is a little bit unfortunate. So with her details out of the way let's actually move on to her details. And so here we have a closer look at the Pink Ranger, and I do have her with the helmeted head. Again, the Amy Jo Johnson head is an okay likeness, it's not the greatest, but I think I'm going to keep mine with the helmet on. Taking a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at the paint apps. Um, right off the bat, you can tell the pterodactyl on her helmet. Its eyes are goofy. Uh, you can see that the eyes aren't really lined up. If you look at it from this side, it looks okay. Look at it from this side, it looks okay, but looking at it dead on, you can see one eye is actually higher and more toward the center than the other. As far as the paint for the helmet goes, it's pretty clean. I do like it. You can see it's mainly white with the pink paint going all the way around. The pterodactyl is nicely done. My only complaint is that there's a little pink dot right there, and then we do have some silver bleeding on from the face. Other than that, really good job on the helmet. The neck is a little to be desired. You can see there's a little paint error right there. Now this is where my complaint with the figure lies. We actually have two different pinks for her. Two different plastics that they use. This is a much duller pink. This one is a much brighter pink and you can definitely see a difference even under my... Re under regular lights you can still see a difference so I don't like the fact that this is a darker, duller pink, and then this is a brighter, more vibrant pink. Uh, looking at it, the diamonds are painted well enough. There's no fuzziness on them. If we look on the back, you can see the little zipper, which is accurate to how it looked in the actual TV series. Looking at her arms, again, you can see the difference in plastics. This is a much brighter pink. We do have pink paint right here. This is actually a white plastic with the pink just painted on. And then you can even see a difference in the white plastics that they use, which if you're going to use a plastic, why, why not try to make it match? Because it is obvious that this is a much yellower white than this. Uh, the helmet is a really nice white. It looks like this one, but yeah, it's just a mixed match of plastics. Even here on the torso, you can see the belt matches more the painted plastic which is surprising because this is actually molded in pink so I don't know why the skirt matches the paint right here it doesn't match the torso piece the morpher is done okay there's not too much detail in there but it is some detail and we do get the black line work around the morpher white belt is done exceptionally well the holster unfortunately has some issues, the paint is a little thin. Taking a look at her legs here, they are that same vibrant pink which her arms are made out of. So it does stand out from the rest of her body. If they had just made the body the same color as this pink, I'd have no problems with it. Taking a look at her boots, you can see the paint is done really well no issues on the paint and we do have a little bit of an error right here where the diamonds don't quite connect same thing on this leg but overall I'm perfectly okay with it the boots are screen accurate so I do like that overall Pink Ranger here looks 
really good and I am happy to have her in my collection. So what we're going to do now is actually compare her to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the Pink Ranger posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Pink Ranger posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. And so here we have the Pink Ranger posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we have the Pink Ranger posed next to the Bandai Legacy Collection Pink Ranger and the Bandai Legacy Movie Pink Ranger. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Pink Ranger's articulation, which is pretty impressive for the most part. We do have a ball joint in the head, which does let her look up and down quite well. Uh, very little head tilt, but it is better than most figures. We do have a left and right swivel, which works really good. We do have a hinge in the neck, which does look down and up. If you have the Amy Jo Johnson head on, it looks up and down better. The helmet does hinder articulation a little bit. And of course we do have a swivel. Arms are on ball joints, they do go out to about that far. They do a full 360, working no problem. Single bend at the elbow giving us just a little bit better than 90 degrees as well as having a swivel. We do have a swivel and hinge at the wrist, working no problem. Butterfly joint which is exceptionally well done. As you can see it goes back all the way, comes forward quite a bit so I do like that. We do have a diaphragm joint right here, so it, she does lean to the side, to the other side, does lean back about that far, goes forward about that far, rotation works no problem, and then we get a reverse ab crunch which lets you lean back about that far, leans forward about that far, and then we do have ball joints in the hips which do go out to about that far, they go forward and back not so much. We do have rotation at the thigh. Double bend here at the knee. Kind of stiff but it does work. We do have boot rotation which works really good. A hinge in the ankle which goes back to about there. Goes forward to about there. And then forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall really good articulation here on Pink Ranger. So what we're going to do now is get her pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Lightning Collection Pink Ranger posed for my final thoughts. Overall, this is a really nice looking figure. Unfortunately, it's plagued by mismatched plastics. The paint doesn't match the plastic, and then the pink plastic doesn't match the pink plastic. So overall, it's okay, but I would have liked to see a little more care into this line, because this is probably one of the biggest lines that I'm into, seeing as how I am a Power Rangers fan. And in getting this, it kind of it does take the wind out of my sails. Like, I'm still excited for this series, but I want to see corrections done. I don't want to see mismatched plastics. That seems to something like Mattel would do, and this is Hasbro we're talking about. Hopefully they do reissue a Pink Ranger that has proper plastics, but until then, I'm quite happy with this Pink Ranger in my collection. If you are looking for the Pink Ranger at the time I'm making this video, she is starting to hit stores right now, so check your local Walmarts, Targets, Walgreens, and wherever else you pick up figures. I was lucky enough to pick up my Pink Ranger from my local comic book store, so a huge shout out to the good folks of Black Sheep Comics for getting this out to me so I could review it for you guys. If you're a fan of the Power Rangers, you are going to like this figure, although you might be turned off because of the different shades of plastic in it. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Power Ranger videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely take a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, and of course, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Subscriptions are not enough, just go ahead and ring that bell, and you'll never miss out on my figures. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.